Dagster Cloud makes adopting Dagster easier than ever. It builds on top of Dagster's orchestration platform to enhance the collaboration and productivity of your data team. Let's start by seeing what it looks like to get up and running on Dagster Cloud, which we can do in a matter of a few clicks. As a user, I have the choice to use Dagster Cloud as a hybrid model or as a fully serverless solution. The hybrid model ensures your code runs entirely in your infrastructure. Dagster Cloud manages the operational burden, but never sees your code or touches your data. The fully hosted serverless option lets us productionize our code without having to set up any infrastructure. We'd like to get up and running as soon as possible, so we'll choose serverless. Next, we'll connect our GitHub account. We could load some pre-existing Dagster code, but we'll instead have Dagster Cloud template some example code in our account for us, automatically set up with CI/CD. Here, we have our example repo. Our code is automatically being deployed to our production environment from our main branch. Once the deployment is complete, we can view our code in Dagster Cloud. From here, we can rematerialize our assets, kicking off a run in the cloud. With our code successfully running, let's go ahead and make a change. We'll open up the source file in our GitHub repo. Here, we have a few software-defined assets. The first pulls a list of serials from an API into a data frame. The second filters down to serials manufactured by Nabisco. We'll add another asset which filters down to serials manufactured by Quaker. Now that we've made our change, we can commit it back to our main branch, and this will kick off another deployment to production. After a few moments, our new asset is live in production and ready to be materialized. Dexter Cloud is built to scale with the size of your data team and your data workflows. Let's take a look at what the development process on a more mature data platform looks like. Here, we've loaded a set of data pipelines. Our code fetches and processes some population data, producing population rankings. From this data, we build some DBT models, and our ML team also generates some forecasts. These pipelines are built using software-defined assets. To see more about how this code base was built, check out our intro video on software-defined assets. By deploying our code to Dagster Cloud, we can ensure our assets are reliably up to date. But Dagster Cloud isn't just a platform to run your code. It's built to supercharge the entire developer workflow, helping your team build, modify, test, and deploy their data workflows with confidence. A change begins in the local environment, where developers write their code. Let's go ahead and expand on our existing set of assets by adding some assets representing country GDP. We'll start by adding some imports. Next, we'll add a country GDP asset. We'll pull some data into a data frame. Then, we'll add the per capita GDP asset. We need to depend on our existing GDP and population assets. Dagster's programming model lets us specify them as inputs to the asset function. We'll join the input tables, compute the per capita GDP, and return it. We'll create a branch, commit our changes, and push up to our GitHub repo. Next, we'll create a pull request. Dagster Cloud's GitHub integration will automatically create a branch deployment, an ephemeral staging environment where we can run our work against real cloud services and test our changes. After a few moments, our branch deployment is ready. Branch deployments run against a forked environment that we can test against to gain confidence in our work. Here, we've configured our branch deployments to create a temporary copy of our cloud environment. This job creates a duplicate of our Snowflake schema. Our pipelines and assets are parameterized to write to this copy, so we can materialize assets in our branch deployment without interfering with production. I can now go ahead and kick off a run to ensure that my changes work, in a context nearly identical to production. Of course, these branch deployments scale with the size of your team. Every pull request spawns a new branch deployment. It's easy for me to get context into a team member's change as a reviewer or another stakeholder by viewing their branch deployment, where I can explore their jobs, their assets, and their runs. 
Once I'm ready to merge my change, deploying to production is as easy as simply merging the pull request. Once the deploy is complete, I can go view my new assets live in the production environment, ready to be materialized for the first time in production. Dexter Cloud is built to not only be the easiest way to productionize your data platform, it's designed to empower your team to develop faster and with more confidence. We want Dexter Cloud to be the right choice for teams with large and small.